Okay, thank you Mr. Mauser Electronics for sending me some new uh, MOSFETs, not MOSFETs, some life fuses uh, or an ESD suppressor. Um, oh, you may know it's a TVS diode. This one is a 28 volt, 7 kilowatt apparently, unidirectional. Um, it is an. Um, read it on here. Yeah, it's a little food, blah, 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 all that. Let's get one of these bad boys out. Let's get it fitted to this. I've already done the work of... Um, Unfortunately, I've just lost a video that I did of replacing this little fuse. Um, or TVS diode. So, I've replaced it. Let's test it. Oh, I've got to make sure my cable length is correct, I think. When I did my original cable length, it wasn't... Uh, the correct length. There was, uh, I thought, to do the original, to do the total cable length. Let's make this. I thought to do the cable length that you have to just measure from here to the end. So I measured that. And that was on one cable length. But you had to times it by two. So my cables should have been or this should have, this was thinking that my cable length was a lot shorter than it actually is. Which is why this little TVS diode decided to blow up because it had some back EMF voltage whatever that means just make sure this powers uh, this this could blow up now if I touch the wrong things with it all connected there we go it's tight enough so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just calibrate the cable length I'm not going to do the calibrate yet but I'm going to calibrate the cable length and yeah, look at that, it's set to 1.2 meters. Which is completely wrong. Because I've actually got 3.1 meters of cable length. Yeah, 3.1, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with 3.2. I haven't added in this. I don't know if I should add in the length of that as well. Um, I think I should actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add in the cable length for that. So that's another 13. Let's continue. So 3.2 metres on that. Okay. Uh, now it wants me to... I'll do the calibration now. So I've done calibration cable length. So we'll do the calibration, so that's open. So we basically just short these out. Well, we don't short them out, we just run, we just basically press the switch. So that's okay. And they're the values for that, if you can see them. Let's see if I can focus. Yeah, you can see them. And then now I've got to short it out. So I need something else. The 
this was the old um, thing. So the cable length is about the same, just a bit longer. I'm going to use this to short these out. Get a good connection between them two. And then short it over current. Is that 900 and 987 amps. So will that just weld normally now? Well, it's telling me to calibrate again. Okay, so is it not finishing the calibration? is over current. No, it still doesn't work. So doing that and that doesn't fix it.